Hi everyone, thank you for joining me, Amber Bach, for my week three presentation on themes and concepts and moving them from theory to practice for Dr. Sunshine's course, MPA 594. So I will be discussing the issue or the um, problem within the wicked problem of homelessness is the lack of coordination among um, targeted homelessness programs and agencies assisting with homelessness. The three themes I will discuss is first, communication, second, management, and third, efficiency. So communication, I immediately think of Chester Barnard and the requirement that channels of communication should be definite. Everyone should know the channels of communication as well as has as well as have access to them, and the lines of communication should be as short and direct as possible. So if there is an issue within um, a certain agency handling homelessness like HUD or um, the, the HHS, Health and Human Services, rather than jumping through hoops or going, cutting through all the bureaucratic red tape, um, if the individual could just go to a, the specific person necessary and um, communicate their problem and they can get it resolved as quickly as possible, then why not do that? why have all of this separation that there can't be these open lines of communication like why can't someone from hud speak with someone directly from hhs why does there have to be these formal um, strict rules and guidelines in place when uh, according to chester barnard what is most efficient is just having the um, short concise and direct as possible lines of communication Number two, management. I think of Gulick's uh, Paz Corb and uh, Fagel's 14 Principles of Management. Uh, so they both are very similar. Um, the division of work, I understand, is necessary among the targeted homelessness programs and agencies because everyone needs to know what they do. Um, however, it could be streamlined. A lot of these agencies do exactly the same thing. And so we have money going to several different agencies that do exactly the same thing. So why not just form one essentially mega agency and have all of the money go to that where everything is streamlined, communication is streamlined and um, we can still have the division of work and labor. However, it's just under one network rather than several different agencies with different management um, styles because one agency could be working under the uh, X and Y uh, management aspect that some employee that most employees generally want to do well or that others need to be micromanaged. Um, so there's just a lot of things that go into play when agencies are broken down and, and, and therefore um, division of work gets divided even more and more. And then also PodsCorp, uh, that would be effective because then they'd be able um, to have planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting all done under one um, agency. And even with the multiple agencies and kind of like the decentralization, uh, if this were utilized appropriately, then they would able to they would be able to coordinate and um, have more facilitation to aid as many homeless people as possible, and also um, not allow as many people fall through the cracks because they uh, would be extremely organized and um, coordinated. Finally, efficiency. I think of the obvious foundations, uh, Weber, bureaucratic theory, and um, Taylorism, Fred Winslow Taylor, and scientific management. Um, these are all, of course, just tried and true for efficiency. With Taylorism, one best way. Um, the agencies helping with homelessness could definitely um, utilize that and be able to find the one best way to help everyone. And like I said, have maybe potentially a mega agency, um, which I understand could be that could also have its challenges um, having such a large agency. However, like I said, the communication would be better. Um, people would fall through the cracks less because 
everything is being handled under one roof as opposed to several different systems that people organize or utilize and um, they might not um, speak to each other like the programs might not overlap or they might not utilize the same programs so finding that one best way would help uh, within targeted homelessness programs and agencies and then uh, Weber's Division of work with high special specialization. I still believe that is necessary within these agencies, even in the in, even in this quote unquote mega agency. If they were going to um, remove all the specialized programs, um, however, everyone still needs to know what they're doing and um, know how to do it because then that then they'll be most efficient at it um, if that's something that they're familiar in and. The hierarchy of authority is still necessary. However, like I said, um, communication still needs to be open. Those lines need to be available so that rather than having to go up the chain of command to discuss a problem, they can just go immediately to that person and get it resolved um, fairly quickly. So I definitely believe there's room for improvement within all of these programs and agencies. And like I said, they all essentially have the same function to aid homelessness. However, a lot of things slip through the cracks and a lot of money um, is wasted under this duplicated process. So in conclusion, I have a little puzzle pieces because I think everyone should just work in, obviously, coordination. That was the whole the whole problem is that they're not working coordination but if they utilize multiple theories even ones that like cl the classical ones like Taylorism and Weber that um, many may think is old and outdated it's still the foundations and principles are applicable today and will help them be efficient and also with regard to communication Chester Barnard that might even be considered um, outdated however it's true that there needs to be open lines of communication among these agencies in order to help as many people as possible and not waste tax dollars allowing people to still slip through the cracks. So thank you so much for listening to my presentation and I can't wait to enjoy yours.